Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Mining News Flash. Today with Fiori Gold, Osisco Metals, Consolidated Uranium, Max Silver, and Mawson Gold here on Commodity TV. Acquisition scoop in the gold business. Caliber Mining announces the 100% acquisition of Fiori Gold in Nevada to create a diversified, America's focused, and growing mid tier gold producer. Targeted annual gold production is expected to be approximately 245,000 ounces and AIC of around around $1,000.20 per ounce. The newly created company will have extensive technical capabilities to leverage a pipeline of development and exploration opportunities across a broader portfolio. This growth strategy will be supported by a strong balance sheet with a combined cash balance of $96 million and, important, no debt. Osisco Metals is outlining significant reductions in dewatering requirements at Pine Point. This is the positive result from the ongoing 3D hydrogeological modeling and its application to dewatering costs. A PEA update is expected in the first quarter next year and will incorporate the new 3D hydrogeological model, dewatering volume estimates and any associated cost reductions. Osisco Metals is getting really interesting here. Consolidated Uranium completed its previously announced acquisition and strategic alliance with Energy Fuels, the leading uranium producer in the United States. Under the terms of the agreement, Consolidated Uranium acquires a portfolio of uranium projects in Utah and Colorado, including three former production mines or producing mines that can be brought back online quickly and cost-effectively. In connection with the closing of the transaction, the companies also entered into a contract processing agreement. This provides CUR with guaranteed access to Energy Fuels White Mesa processing facility, the only licensed and operating conventional uranium mill in the United States. In addition, under the terms of the operating agreement, projects will continue to be managed by the experienced team at Energy Fuels. In addition, an $18 million bought deal will massively accelerate further work. MagSilver announced the pre-commissioning of the process plant at Juana Sipio joint venture project. In Q3, more than 57,000 tons of development material were processed, bringing total production to over 660,000 ounces of silver and over 1,100 ounces gold. Full commissioning is planned for Q4 2021. MagSilver is full on track. Mawson Gold reported excellent drill results. The best result of seven diamond drill holes at the Sunday Creek project in the Victorian goldfields in Australia was from the deepest hole at 225 meters vertical depth. This included 21.7 meters at 4.7 grams gold per ton and 1% antimony from 274.7 meters, including 40 centimeters with over 145 grams gold per ton and 20% antimony. Sunday Creek thus continues to deliver for continuous mineralization over wide strike intervals in multiple holes and increasing grades at depths. Nonetheless, all mineralization at depths remains open and the system continues 10 kilometers to the east and includes historic mines without a single drill hole tested. Mawson Gold has now completed 25 drill holes, totaling over 6,000 meters with three assay results pending. Drilling continues and we look forward to seeing further results. Please note the claimer now superimposed. The shares discussed are or may be part of the SRC Mining Special Situation Certificate. Thanks for watching us and bye bye from Switzerland.